Hey YouTube, here with the battle belt setup that I created. Um, did a lot of research on this before I, I put it together the way I did. Uh, watched a lot of different YouTube videos, the way people had things set up, and then finally, after putting some stuff together, I found out what runs best for me. Um, but as you can see right down here, this is uh, my setup. I run an HSGI battle belt. Uh, also has the Cobra rigger belt here with in the, in the inside. Um, but let me go ahead and just show you the weapon. Like as always, just make sure the weapons are clear before we do anything. As you see, the weapon is clear once again. So I put it back in the holster before we do this here. Okay, as I said, this is the HSGI battle belt. Uh, it's a sure grip battle belt. It's um, pretty expensive option, but it's a really nice option. It sticks to you. Uh, it's not going to move around when you're running. Okay, we'll start from this side over here. What we got going, we have three HSGI Double Taco magazine pouches. Uh, as you can see in there, I have three Magpul P mags, 30 round mags in there, and I also have three of my Glock mags, my Glock 22 mags, uh, 40 caliber. Um, I run it the way I do. Uh, I have the magazines tilted to certain angles that I have it for easier draw, uh, easier placement into my weapons. I'll uh, we'll move on over here. This is going to be the Endem dump pouch. Uh, as you can see inside here, it's got a little lip on it. That way, when you toss a magazine in there or anything you toss in there, it's not going to come out when you're running. Also has the button closure. Uh, should you ever decide to run the button closure, um, it's a nice little option. I don't, but it's there for you if you need it. Um, next thing you got right here is going to be my ITS Tactical Tallboy uh, Trauma Pouch. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, it's got this little handle here. Whenever you need it, just yank it down. It unzips these zips on the way down. Um, I keep my uh, tourniquet in here, some quick clot, uh, trauma shears, uh, some gauze, and whatever else you need to. Um, you basically set it up uh, based on your mission preference. Uh, I don't really do anything too extreme, so I just keep stuff in there that I, I that's more practical to me. Uh, moving on over, next it's going to be my uh, Safari Land 6004 drop leg platform. I, I have a QLS system on here. Um, that way, I can switch this guy from my duty belt to my drop leg platform. And as you can see, it's got the uh, male and the female ends. You just slide one onto the other, and it clicks in. Uh, it's not going to go anywhere. It's, it's pretty much stuck there until you move these prongs and remove it. Next thing on here, I put a Grimlock on here. Um, probably gonna toss some electrical tape on here. Um, I don't have it set up yet. Um, basically out of laziness, I haven't gotten <laughs> any electrical tape yet. Next thing here is gonna be my EOD Leatherman multi-tool. Um, very nice multi-tool. Uh, as you can see, it's got all the essentials for messing with an AR. Uh, any weapon platform also has uh, stuff I can use on my Glock. And a whole bunch of other little fun tools that you can play with. Okay, moving on next from the uh, next thing from the Leatherman over here. It's going to be a single HSGI magazine pouch. Uh, this will be run on my right side. That's what you get. Uh, inside here, it's going to be the, uh, like I said earlier, the HSGI Cobra belt. Uh, cool thing about this is it has Velcro on the inside here, uh, and it actually Velcros to the inside of your HSGI belt, so it's not going to go anywhere when it's on you. Um, it takes a little bit of time to get it set to way the way you want it. Um, with that Velcro on the inside, it's kind of a pain in the butt if you set it up wrong. Um, takes a little bit of time to take it apart and put it back together the way you want it. So take your time with putting this together because when you put it together you want it to stay the way you have it. Um, All together I, I put a lot of money into this. Um, I'll go, go over here how much uh, each of the things are. The double decker pouches over here 
they're approximately forty two dollars a piece so you're looking at quite a lot of money between those three um, move over to the endum pouch uh, it was about forty odd dollars um, the tall boy here uh, that would retail at sixty uh, the drop leg uh, with the platform and uh, the QLS setup that cost me about let's say about hundred and sixty for the whole thing set up the way I have it the Leatherman um, approximately hundred and twenty now you can find it a little cheaper but it's something you, you definitely want to get a, get a nice multi-tool uh, that way you can take out, take down your AR-15 clean it do whatever you gotta do with it um, the single mag pouches from HSGI uh, that taco is 30 uh, I did the math with everything I have attached here minus the stuff I have inside of here and the ammo and obviously everything because that's going up uh, it's about five hundred dollars uh, so it's expensive but if you have it set up the way you want it these HSGI's sure grips they don't move uh, as you can see on the inside here it's got this uh, okay it's got this neoprene on the inside and that holds it to whatever item basically it's uh, it's contacting um, clothing wise it'll, it'll pretty much stick to it it's a uh, nice gel like padding so you won't have to worry about that moving around also um, if you're if you're into the suspenders um, I'm personally not especially with this setup because of that neoprene it sticks to you you can run suspenders via these D rings here these little loops here so and that's another option it takes some weight off of your uh, off your waist and puts it onto your shoulders if you'd like to do it that way um, this is a medium this belt so I believe it says it comes with about uh, I'm gonna say 20 rows of mole. Um, the smaller you are, obviously you're gonna lose a lot of mole space. But as you can see, I, I have it pretty much set to the the brim here. I have pretty much every mole slot filled out. Uh, another thing I want to point out real quick is these little slots it has inside of the belt itself. I don't know if you can see inside there. You're, it's set up so you can put rigs straight through the uh, the padded belt itself onto the Cobra Rigger's belt on the inside. So this thing is not going anywhere. Uh, so when you're running, you don't have to worry about this thing ripping loose or whatnot or or taking you off balance. So it's got I believe it's got four of them ac across. Yeah, it's got. Um, I'm sorry, it's got three. It's got one over there under the double tacos, it's got one here under my uh, dump pouch that's got the one where I have it set up so but um, that's about all I, I can say about this it's a it's a nice option a little pricey but it's 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 nice it'll stay on you it's got a lot of real estate where you can put as much stuff as you want on it uh, but if you have any questions uh, feel free to put something in the comment section uh, hopefully I can reply to you guys Thanks for watching, guys.